Hey guys, welcome back to something I've not done for a while, and that is a inbox review of a model kit. And we're going to look at the beautiful Fine Molds F14A in 70 second scale. So I do love me an aircraft in splinter camo markings and went trolling on Sprue Brothers earlier this week and they had the fine molds F14 for $25 on the deal of the day, reduced from about 45 bucks. And I thought, oh, I better snag one of those. You know, I do love an F14. So got that one and while I was at it, I took a peek at what else they had and they had the um, same kit, but in the aggressor markings for $44-ish. So I thought to myself, well, these are kind of hard to find, they haven't been stocked, so why not snag it? Nowadays, you know, paying 100 bucks for a 48 scale kit, 45, um, 40, well, I think it's 43.99, didn't seem quite so bad um, for a model kit of this caliber. So, bought both of these guys, and today we'll look inside um, this kit right here. Now, at the end, I'm gonna do a quick summary, because you see I've got a Academy one, and I've got a Great Wall Hobby kit. So let's talk about, at the very end of the review, I'll talk about which one's my favorite kit, and um, which one I kind of recommend out of all these guys. Well, firstly, as I just mentioned, it's been a hot minute since I've um, done a kit review. A couple of reasons. Firstly, I've not really bought too many kits recently or any new exciting ones. And the ones I have, there's been some really good reviews already on YouTube. So there's no point in me kind of duplicating content. So this one's a little bit different. Um, very interesting markings. And who doesn't think an F-14 is a, is a beautiful jet, right? It's especially in aggressive markings. Done this one in 48 scale, actually, a Tamiya kit in the same markings using uh, aero masks. Um, so if, we, if you're a little apprehensive about doing this masking, aero masks, you, I'm not, not affiliated, but you can get a mask set and um, yeah, it makes it pretty easy work. Otherwise, you can just, with masking tape, you can just hand mask it all, I guess, if that's the way you want to go. So I guess just look around the box real quick. There's typical fine molds. You don't get any weapons involved. You can get metal pedo tubes if you want to, extra. Uh, I will say there's tons of different boxings of these and the time filming this, I know in a couple of months at the start of 2024, there's a release, another new boxing on this one in some Gulf War markings as well. Um, let's go around the box here, FB36 is the kit number, semi-second scale and two mark low vis or if you buy this kit, I don't know why you did low vis, I think this is the way to go obviously, you're buying this kit for the beautiful splinter camera. Two bags, a handful of screws, clear parts, decals are very sparse. I mean, there's a handful of stencils, but not too many there. It's an aggressor, so maybe that's what it is, but I mean, yeah, you're not getting many decals there, so I mean, we can talk about that right now. Hub, uh, sorry, a couple of lights back there maybe, and just um, clear parts and just very few um, decals indeed. All right, so some very nice instructions here, very clearly laid out. Kind of very reminds me a lot of Zukimura. I built their BF-109 about a year or so ago, and the instructions are very similar, actually. So very nice, um, detailed, and easy to follow. Basically on the seats, I mean, moving on to the carpet tub. Um, also note here, you know, I think there's um, option parts. You get detail upsets. Um, again, additional cost um, if you want to spice up the seats at that point the cost um, you probably better get a couple of resin seats I'm guessing or a couple of pilot figures now pilot figures I actually really like these guys um, heads up um, def model 3d printed for semi second scale it's just the f14a and you have the b and d set as well and um, it's, I just started painting these as a block color on but I'm quite liking these too so again if you're putting pilots in I don't think you worry so much about upgrading the seat so Anyway, moving along here, you've got decals for the instrument panel. I'm just going to fly through this pretty quickly. Working on the cockpit tub again. Um, and then some painting here for the guides. We've got for the, for the gun, the cannon, and then um, some of the avionics bays. Some of the loadouts going on here. I think this is going to help us um, select ordnance pattern and fuel tank. I think this is going to help us in drilling some holes later on. Um, which way you want to go, one, two, three, four, or five. Again, no weapons are included in the set, so just bear that in mind. Um, fortunately, I just built the Academy kit, so I've got some leftover Phoenix missiles and stuff which I can use. Um, although saying that, now I'm thinking about it, um, these instructions 
this is, I forgot it's an aggressive version we're building, right? So I think it's the same instructions are using 40F14. So being an aggressive version, you're not gonna have a bunch of weapons on it, right? Um, so you're gonna go number five, which is interesting. So let's just screw right back here and see, yeah, both markings are um, aggressors, so huh, interesting. So yeah, you're not gonna have, yes, yeah, so you're not gonna load it full. You're gonna, well, you're gonna have fuel tanks, possibly, or maybe no fuel tanks actually, but um, so yeah, I think probably number five is where you'd probably go, but check the reference material. Um, as all Tomcats go, it's pretty straightforward. Um, they're all pretty much the same here, but got no section kind of goes together. That front section. And then you actually have full length engines, which are nice. Um, sorry, looking for the exhaust. Um, where are we at here? Sorry, I'm just checking my steps here. So this is the, um, yeah, this is the exhaust section at the back. Um, and then a bunch of drilling holes. Again, as I said before, we're probably going number five, so I'm not going to draw any holes, but you draw holes according to what pylons you need and what you're going to load it up with. Um, building the main kind of fuse large body here and putting in the exhaust. Then intakes, two piece. Again, really nice thick paper in this one. Um, working more on main fuselage, going together pretty much as any other Tomcat does, really. Um, they all pretty much go together exactly the same way. Um, exhaust nozzles, we've got the open or the closed. Okay, and then we're putting the, the front section to the rear. Then here's a nice little touch on this kit. You can have um, usual regular, or you can have it open with the spine, so you can see all like the pipes and stuff going on. So if you're going to open it up, um, it's a nice little touch to have this part. Um, then some pallets if you use for the Phoenix missiles. Wings, looks like they can, you put, pivot them front and back, but there's no flaps um, down. You can like deploy any flaps or slats. They're all pretty much molded in. And we've got the bags, um, the air bags. I, Guessing we've got two options as most kits. We have the either the bag either inflated or deflated, where you have it forward or back the wings. Some detailed gear going on here. Moving through some other parts of the gear. Then speed brake you can have up or down. And you can have the ray dome open or closed. Personally, I always like the ray dome closed. I think just ruins the lines of the aircraft when it's open, but you do have a radar um, in there if you want to have it open, as you can see here. And again, just checking your steps here, how you want to do it. Um, you know, obviously following the instructions and you know, 53, or if you can go fifth, step 52, closed, or you can show, open up the radar. And all the access panels. Now I have heard, I've not built this kit before, but I've heard it can be a bit of a handful to close it all up and make it look you know, smooth and stuff. And you do have a refueling probe, which is actually a big plus. Um, I'm actually doing a refueling diorama and the 70 second scale Navy aircraft, that's actually quite a limited selection, um, have the refueling probe. Um, I know Great World Hobbies does, but the Academy kit doesn't. Okay, and then we're going into the weapons. Again, sold separately, so this is all additional stuff if you want to buy the weapon set. Or maybe you have some left over in your spares box. And then just loading out, again, we just kind of talked about earlier on, the different configurations, one to five. And then you have the ray dome at the very end so it doesn't snap off, the canopy, all that kind of jazz. And um, it does come with a stand to support it too, but, um, well, that's a great question. I mean, you can't really put nose weight in if you can have it open, but I guess you can maybe put some nose weight in here and think the the um, the can of the cockpit tub at the front here somewhere to balance it off. Markings black and white, unfortunately, but we do have the, um, the beautiful splinter camera markings, and we have the more low vis one here too. And then some training missiles. Again, sold separately, and there's more color callouts. So going for that super quick. Uh, don't spend too much going on that one, and. Um, Clear parts, don't need to have the plastic, but looking absolutely fantastic. There is a center seam going through. Now on the um, F-14, it does have a seam going through um, some of the back here. Um, 
but the front should be pretty smooth, I guess. Again, I just want to check my references on that one. Alright, it's a plastic. I'm just going to cut these bags open. Okay, and as you can see through different parts here, very nicely molded. There's no real flash. A lot of ejection pins, but they seem to be out of the way. And there's your, like, your avionics. Again, semi-second scan. See, that's my hand, how small this is going to be. And very fine detail. This is my Academy kit. Uh, this is obviously painted and weathered and stuff, but it's... Yeah, this is definitely a little bit more precise, I think, on this kit compared to the Academy one. Not that the Academy one's bad by any means. Tails. Uh, different fan blades. Again, very crisp. There's no real flash on here. Looking nicely detailed. Exhaust nozzles. The instrument panel's looking very awesome too. Seats, looking kind of, looking good. I mean, it's hard to tell when they're in different parts like this, but um, do you like the coning right here? Very nicely detailed, the little weathering, it's gonna look awesome for the Rio. Okay, looks like one piece, nice slide molded intakes, which is nice. Going for the rest of this, there's going to be some seam lines here and there. Your wheels looking pretty kind of crude, looking kind of big too, actually, but nothing really too much to talk about there. And second bag. So, rear upper fuselage, catching the light, you can see all again, beautiful detail, very fine, no problem at all. There's that spine, which can look awesome too, painted in the interior green. Especially if you can do it in you know, the blues and greys splinter camo, it'll look pretty nice I think with the, um, you know, the pop of the green for the um, Eternals. The back end here looking very nice too, and again lower. Really nice detail on the wheel wells, definitely better in the Academy kit. And beautiful detail on there. Very nice. Just your pallets and your um, fuel tanks. Nothing really to write home, nothing to really explain there. There is some nice detail on the pylons. And the final sprue, again, 70 second scale, so not too much to talk about here. We got the um, Looks like we have we have different tails in here, so it looks like maybe you can do the you have D and the A tails, um, and then you've got your. I have to double look here because it looks like there's an insert, but it's actually one piece molded um, horizontal stabs, and then your wings, again, nicely detailed. Got light on here so you can maybe catch some of this detail and light. There we go. Very nice. And um, there we go. I'm missing a couple of things here. You can see a nose wheel, which I'm sure we saw somewhere. Just gonna run through the plastic real quick. Okay, here they are, the nose wheels. On this sprue. Pretty crude, nothing crazy there. Again, we're at semi-second scale, so you know nothing too bad going on here. And then the H2 wheels, okay, and you got your um, inserts that go in there for the hubs right here. Cool, yeah, I just didn't quite remember seeing those. So there we go. So that's it. That's the, um, the running through plastic and the instructions. Um, let's go back to me. So there we go. Beautiful kit. Now, in full fairness, I mean, the option was, was this on sale for 25 I could have bought this one and then just some aftermarket decals on 
eBay that, you know, I thought, well, I must just get the whole nice, beautiful boxing. You know, it's pretty much the same price, but I think they shipping and um, bought the decals. So, few of these stacked up here. So, we've got the Academy one. You can't really see. There it is. This one, um, which I've been building in the top of your markings, right behind me here in flight, for my little flat spin diorama I'm working on. Um, beautiful kit, the Academy kit. Um, new boxing came out about two or three years ago. And Great Hobbies kit, Great War Hobbies kit. I built this one, there's a little dio um, base over there, um, the D version, this is the A. And, and obviously the fine mods. You've also got Hobby Boss and Hasegawa, slightly older kits. Um, the Hobby Boss one, I'm not built or seen, but I heard pretty good things about it. But out of these three brands, which are probably more the top tier of 72nd scale F14s, what do I recommend? Well, firstly, it kind of depends on what your kind of end goal is here. So if you're going to do it on the deck in a carrier, um, in a catapult about to be launched or about to land, uh, maybe a little coming into land just above the carrier deck, I would recommend, well, there's only really one option, and that's going to be the Great War Hobbies. Very detailed kit, beautiful, goes together really well, and you have the flaps and slats, so you can put the, the, um, the flaps down um, for the configuration, whereas all these other kits, you can't, unless you cut them out, then the flaps are fixed in. So for that reason, the Great War Hobby kit. If you want to do it on the ground, fully opened up, so you can see the spine, you can see the avionics boxes, even though it's a 72nd scale, just opened up, if you like that kind of look, fine molds, um, obviously, because you know, it's all in the box, um, ready to go. If you just want a solid, really well made, goes together really well, looks fantastic, beautiful detail, academy, bang for the buck. 50 bucks, if you've got AliExpress, 50 bucks for the um, Great War Hobbies, probably 60 or 70 now, if you've bought in the US. Fine molds, like I said, this was 43.99. This is readily available for about 32, $33. Um, they have the A and the B. It's a fantastic kit. Everything's in here you need. It has all the weapons, it has, yeah, everything. Whereas the point of the fine molds, you don't get any weapons. You gotta buy them separately. So on top of 43.99, you end paying another 10 bucks for your weapons and um, any other little extras you want to add. So I gotta say, I mean, overall, Academy's the best kit. In hindsight, if I was gonna do it again, I'd probably buy the Academy kit for 33 and buy the aftermarket aggressive decals and do it that way around, um, to be honest with you. The only thing I'd say, another thing I'd say too, is a little disappointed with this buy molds. Um, it's just exactly the same as this kit. I mean, plastics are exactly the same. The bags are the same, plastic sprues are the same. The only difference is a decal sheet. And I just wish, you know, being aggressive boxing, you could at least get like the ACM iPod or something in here, you know, to make it, you know, to make it more special for the aggressive boxing, but it's just your box down at F14A is what it is. Um, there's nothing special um, in this one other than that little tie shield decals. So there we go. Do love me an F14A um, or any F14 really. And um, there's quite a selection I've got here. So hopefully you found this video interested, interesting. And if so, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.